Have you ever found yourself just really down? Maybe from work or your life just isn't going how you want it to and you think, I can't do this anymore. What if I quit? not a thought that I'm wanting to end my life, but rather it's almost this combination of fear that I have no control over my mind, and as well as the curiosity of if I can literally do anything possible on this planet, why am I not doing more? It's a rather startling thought to say the least, feeling like something must be wrong to have this thought, but it's actually rather common. Yeah, everybody just learns the same stuff. This sensation has been studied over the years, and a recent study by Spring Health out of New York shows that 78% of Americans feel this, this burnout sensation from their jobs, but from other things too. I believe this to surface because of the dysphoric society we live in, that people just focus on their jobs and wealth more than other things that are more important. You see, in the happiest countries in the world, like Finland, New Zealand, and Switzerland, they value their personal lives and mental health over anything else, over wealth. Studies have shown that this sensation is caused by working too much or stressing too much with not enough time to relax and even lack of close personal relationships and this can all lead to anxiety. And just a quick note on that, this video doesn't have to do with anxiety or depression because I feel like that's a very different topic, but this is just an inspirational video to help you keep going with whatever you're struggling with. And I think I've developed my own perspective on why this occurs. Dude, so real quick, I'm working on this new video project. So I'm filming a video on like burnout and like Oh, and people feeling like they can't do something anymore. So like, what advice would you give to someone if they feel like they just can't do something anymore? Like if you're just like bored of your life or like bored of your job yeah. or, or your like favorite thing to do, it's like, well, what do you do? You know, because yeah. a, lo a lot of people like don't know where to turn. Hi. Hi. Okay, fine. Okay, something in like hard situations I've learned and how to get through them or whatever is every situation that you come into or every person that you meet or every any energy that you come in contact with you just have to look at it and say what can i learn from this am i going to gain something am i going to lose something am i going to learn something and then take that feeling and just got to keep going if that makes sense so everything that happens you just have to learn from it and enjoy the experience that's yeah. literally what I say. If like, no way. like in every situation you either learn from it, grow from, or are happy with it. Exactly. Like there's, that's... I mean, like, yeah, there's bad situations, but like, it's how you take it in. No, that's, that's the whole purpose of life, I guess. <laughs> Just do it. I don't know. Like, you don't have to do it anymore. Oh, this is hard. Like if I was feeling per like what I would do to make myself feel better. Yeah. Like that works too. Okay, for I think like to deal with burnout is one to take a step back because when you're so like up close, like it's really hard to like realize how far you've come, like because you're not really thinking about it as much. So like take a step back and like kind of run through all the things that you've accomplished and like remind yourself that you have worked really hard to be where you are and even if you're like feeling down <laughs> well i that's what i like to do is like take a step back for sure and give yourself a break like a lot of people won't give themselves breaks and like a lot of people think like taking a break is bad but personally i think if you take a break i feel like you can come back even stronger and like just feel a lot better and Taking a break doesn't make it any less like 
cool or anything. Um, and also just like surround yourself with people that love you. Like people that love you are going to help bring you back to positive energy and go do things that you love. Like personally, I love the park. So if I'm feeling like really down, I'll go sit in the park and like just reconnect with like nature and God, God is really important. You know, if you're feeling down, talk to him at like, I was feeling down the other day and I just talked to him. And then the next two days I had like really good days, like just talk to him and it doesn't need to be like a long spiel or you just ask for help if you need help. We're really similar in the in fact of like taking a step back, like you have to see the forest for the trees. Um, yeah. Otherwise you're just going to be depressed. Like living in the moment's important, but you also need to take a step back to see where you've been and how far you've yeah. come. Uh, it, especially coming from like growing up in hard situations and stuff. Um, like a lot of people do. Um, and just knowing that you've gotten from there to here and just just knowing where you came from and how far you've gotten is, I think, really important. So that kind of relates to me a lot with, like, different outdoor sports. Like, I get burnt out on, like, certain things, and then I'll just switch to a new hobby for a little while. Like, right now I'm kind of on a rock climbing binge, and I haven't really been mountain biking that much, but I still love it but I was kind of just getting tired of it because I was doing it so much. And then with burnout with like school, it really helps me to go out and do outside activities and just kind of mess around. Um, just change it up. That's the best thing that I do for burnout. Yeah. So it sounds like you kind of like balance, balance stuff out a little more between like outdoors and like school or work. Um, yeah. And then just like finding new things as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I try and do um, when I'm, like, feeling feeling like I don't want to do any of my, like, things I like to do. I just try and find something new and then yeah. hit it. <laughs> yeah, I would just say, like, yeah, change it up. Yeah. It's the best thing for me. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, man, that's a good question. I'd say it's most important to know what makes you happy and what made you happy in the past. Because I think oftentimes we change our perspective to something new so we can have something that's fulfilling and refreshing, but we don't look at what has made us fulfilled in the past. We aren't recollecting on the choices we made in abundance to have that enjoyment in the past. You know what I mean? It's, it's intense. Um, and I think there's this inherent fear for everyone. Um, that what we love and what we enjoy doing every day is eventually going to fizzle out and we're going to dislike it and, you know, just not have that same enjoyment, kind of like I had with mountain biking. But you just always have to keep going back and remembering, like, what's made you so happy. Um, Hell help, yeah. Hopefully help people out that are feeling that, that burnout from life or their favorite oh, yeah. thing to do and um, I don't know. I think it's just really important to like check in on each other and um, definitely and, and help each other out. You know, we got each other. So now after talking to them about this, I feel like I have a better sense of what everyone does personally when they get this sensation of feeling burnt out. And I think the most important thing to do is take a step back, look at life and change things up. <laughs>